People often ask me for kitchen gear recommendations, but these are the top five items that I cannot live without. So number one, this is a digital instant read thermometer. This thing is like the best way to have success in the kitchen. It takes a temperature very, very quickly and super accurately. It will give you the proper internal temperature of whatever you're making. These can be a little expensive, but they are definitely worth the investment. They also go on sale a couple times a year, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Number two, Mr. Clean Magic Erase. How do I love thee? This thing is amazing. Number one, it will clean your dirty toaster oven. You know on the door of a toaster oven how you get that brown, yellow kind of buildup? This thing will take all of that off. It's amazing. And it also will get your red wine stains off of your Corian counters, just in case that happens. Also, if you have any tough stains around the kitchen, this is your saving grace. Number three, a jar spatula. This is a lifesaver. So as you can see, it's nice and long and tall, but it also is really slender. So it fits into smaller jars, and it also is good for getting every little bit of mustard, jam, preserves, anything at the bottom super easily. Also, this jar spatula is perfect for when you only have a little bit of peanut butter left at the bottom of the jar. Normally, I get my hands all covered in peanut butter, but not with this. Number four, a sharp boning knife. So boning knives are typically used when you're cutting pieces of meat and you wanna go in and around a bone or you want to be able to go around connective tissue, things like that. So you want it to be really flexible, like this. But I use a boning knife for many different things. I mean, even for slicing a tomato, which usually we're only supposed to use serrated knives, I find it super sharp and I love the fact that it has a narrow tip at the top because you kind of can have more control when you're slicing things. When I'm trimming pork tenderloin or things like that, if I need to get the silver skin off or connective tissue, I always use this. Again, the sharper the better. And number five, a Dutch oven. These can be a little expensive, I know that, but they last for years. It's definitely worth the investment. You can roast meats in here. You can make tomato sauces, Rice Krispie treats. You can even use your Dutch oven to press down on sandwiches when you're making paninis or grilled cheeses at home. Love this thing. Well, there you have it, the top five kitchen gadgets I cannot live without. If you want more quick tips or weeknight friendly recipes, check out my series, Today's Special, on America's Test Kitchen's YouTube channel.